Okay. Now I'm doing Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 through 6. And I'll break it down so you understand it, right? Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, woman, not the man, ye, yeah, hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god has said ye shall not eat of it neither shall ye touch it lest ye die and the serpent said unto the woman ye shall not surely die for god doth know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil and the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. And that breaks down, right? This whole boss bitch thing is false. They, they try to push on other women that Satan fears woman? No, that just proved God sees woman as a pawn to use to manipulate men. See, the, the thing you should have caught right there is that Eve gave Adam the fruit to eat, not telling him it's from the forbidden tree. He didn't know because he thought she was obedient to God. But she wasn't, and she manipulated and tricked him and screwed him over, kicking him out of the Garden of Eden because of her. <laughs> See, this is why men go the wrong way. And this ancient knowledge of how men and women are, so many of you don't read the Bible, so you're missing the best lessons for eternity that are forgotten because... They're pushing Satan. They're pushing everything evil. They want you to forget those lessons so they can manipulate and use you like puppets. It's not happening. So, I mean, do what you want. I just, that was some valuable knowledge to help some people and the right ones that listen understand. Have a blessed day, everybody.